The bicuttle frequency of aluminum. In aluminum, the longitudinal acoustic wave speed is 6.32 times 10 to 3 meters per second, and that of the transverse acoustic wave is 3.1 times 10 to 3 meters per second. The density of aluminum is 2,700 kilograms per meter cube, and its atomic weight is 27 grams per mole. Calculate the Debye cutoff frequency of aluminum. Okay, so let's remember the Debye angular frequency omega d this was uh, 6 pi square the number density capital n over v atomic number density to the power one third times the speed of uh, sound which is 2 pi times the debye cutoff frequency um, so we have found that the Debye cutoff frequency F sub D is six pi square capital N. So taking two pi inside the uh, power of one to one over three, we have eight pi cube V to the power one third times the speed of sound. So 8 pi cubed to the power of 1, 1 over 3 gives us 2 pi. Okay, so uh, this gives us finally 3n divided by 4 pi v volume 1 over 3 times the speed of sound. So uh, this result, unfortunately, doesn't apply for this case because here we have longitudinal and acoustic uh, waves traveling at different speeds. So uh, having recalled this result here, I have to note that here we have longitudinal and transverse waves. traveling at different speeds. So let's see how we have reached this result. Now, if I go back to the density of states, so going back to density of states, The number of states per frequency per omega this is d and d omega which is volume v omega square divided by 2 pi square speed of sound cube so this is what we have shown in the lecture and what we have done to account for the different polarizations is that we multiplied it simply by 3. So in class, we simply multiplied this by 3 for two transverse and one longitudinal polarization. But in this case, if the propagation speed of the longitudinal one is not equal to the transverse one, then we have to modify this calculation the density of states d of omega will become v omega square divided by 2 pi square <clears throat> and we have 1 over speed of sound cube. Now we have 
uh, two transverse ways, two divided by a uh, transverse speed cube plus one divided by longitudinal uh, propagation speed cube. So basically what we need to do is replace one over speed of sound cube assuming the same propagation speed uh, for these branches it's going to be replaced by 2 over uh, the transverse speed cube 1 over plus 1 over the longitudinal propagation speed cubed then we're going to have uh, from 0 to omega dy the total number of uh, modes d of omega d omega equal to 3n remember this uh, n is the a number of uh, atoms so uh, that basically corresponds to our discrete values k can take so this is going to give us v divided by uh, 2 pi square 2 over vt cube plus 1 over vl cube uh, multiplied by omega cube over 3 which is omega d by cube over 3 and this is equal to 3n so uh, omega d by is now modified it's going to be 18 pi squared capital n over v to the power one third multiplied with 2 over v transverse cube plus 1 over v longitudinal cube to the power uh, minus 1 over 3. So this is equal to 2 pi times the Debye frequency. So the Debye frequency, Debye cutoff frequency, we will find 18 pi squared capital N divided by 8 pi cube V when we put everything in the parentheses of power of 1 over 3 then we have 1 over V longitudinal cube plus 2 over V transverse cube to the power minus 1 over 3 and uh, if we do the simplification here, we can see that this is a 9n, 9n over 4 pi v, the number density n over v, one third times 1 over uh, v longitudinal cube. So we have 1 over v longitudinal cube plus 2 over v transverse cube uh, to the power minus 1 over 3. So now we have atomic weight divided by the density atomic weight divided by the density this gives us the mass per mole of atoms divided by the mass per volume so this gives us volume per mole all right so if we calculate this the atomic weight was 27 grams 27 10 to minus 3 divided by uh, 2700 kilograms per meter cube this is 1 times 10 to minus 5 meter cube per mole so Avogadro's number divided by that's the number of atoms in one mole divided by V would be uh, 1 point 1 times 10 to minus 5 divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 to the power minus 1 
So that's basically Avogadro's number divided by uh, the volume. So uh, this gives us 6.02 times 10 to 28 uh, meter per meter cube. So we can calculate the Debye frequency as uh, now we have <clears throat> n over v calculated. So that's 9 divided by uh, 4 pi multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to 28 to the power 1 third 1 over v longitudinal cube which is 6.32 times 10 to 3 cube plus one, uh, 2 over v transverse cube 3.1 times 10 to 3 cube to the power minus 1 over 3 this gives us a Debye cutoff frequency of 8.69 times 10 to 12 hertz. Okay, so let's see what we did here. We're encountering aluminum where we have the longitudinal acoustic wave speed being different from the transverse acoustic wave speed. And the density is an atomic weight is given, so we want to know the Debye cutoff frequency. So going back to our original discussion of density of states, uh, we have the number of states per frequency range v omega square 2 pi square speed of sound cube. So in class, we simply multiply this by 3 to account for three different polarizations. But if the speeds are not the same, 1 over speed of sound cube, where we assume the speed of sound is the same for all branches, should be replaced with 2 over V transverse cube plus 1 over V longitudinal cube. If we integrate the density of states d of omega d omega from 0 to omega d by, we get the total number of states, which is 3n for these three branches. Uh, and where n is the number of discrete values k can take, that's the number of uh, atoms, remember. So this is going to give us uh, 2 pi times the Debye cutoff frequency. Now we have to calculate the number density. If we know the atomic weight and if we know the density, atomic weight divided by the density gives us volume per mole or uh, 1 times 10 to minus 5 to the power minus 1, which is 1 times 10 to 5, would be mole per volume. And 1 mole has 6.02 10 to 23 atoms, so it's going to be 6.02 10 to 23 divided by 1 10 to minus 5, which is 6.02 10 to 28 per meter cube. So if we substitute that into our result where we have the speed of sound modified to have the effect of different speeds in the longitudinal and transverse polarizations, we obtain our final cutoff frequency.